Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 10 hours of mining rune rocks, and this time, of course, since it's a uh, mining-related video, this is going to be done on the Iron Man account. And since I already have the mining pet, the only goal for this video is to get as much ore as possible and as much profit as possible, so we can see if this is a decent hourly money-making method. I'm actually more curious than I would say excited about this one because I've actually never mined rune rocks for profit. I think the closest I've come to that is of course receiving rune ore in Motherload Mine and of course that uh, that day in December of 2017 where I killed 1,000 runite golems on my main account which of course every kill you do receive a rune ore from. So this one's a little bit different, you know, we're in the mining guild of all the places that you can mine runite ore I feel like this is definitely the best place. In total there are 13 different places that you can mine rune ore at and I do not have Song of the Elves completed on this account, so I couldn't try the one out in Priftinus, but uh, just looking at it on the wiki, that seems like a good alternative. But for this specific location, the only thing I was doing was trying to pay a lot of attention to whenever I logged in, just to see if there was any ore that was actually there, and if there wasn't, then I would just be hopping worlds until I found some. There's a spawn of two, and it's probably like 25 steps away from the bank, so you just have to run there. I think it'll take like 20% of your energy, so like I said, it is pretty close by to a bank, and it will take you a decent amount of time to get a full inventory anyway. But no doubt about it, the only challenge for this video was competition. I ran into people with max capes. I ran into normal players with, you know, around 2k total. And of course, I ran into a ton of runite or bots. And I'm not actually sure what to call it. I mean, on the wiki, it says runite, uh, you know, as it goes for like the rune ore. I personally just call it rune ore, though. I think most people do. So that's why it's the title, the thumbnail. And, you know, but I will say both of them, I guess. Either one works though. So yeah, I was uh, running into a lot of bots and this was definitely going to be slowing down my profit per hour, slowing down the amount of rune that I could obtain because I was always getting sniped by other players. And it really doesn't help that hopping worlds takes on average like four to five seconds to register and, you know, uh, appear in another world and start mining again. So that kind of slowed me down as well. One cool thing that I was doing, which I've actually never done before, is I was actively looking up the accounts uh, specifically at the beginning of the video that I was running into. And you guys can also see their stats uh, basically any bot would be low combat and anyone else that could just be mining this for profit would usually be higher combat uh, later on in the video i did run into a gold farmer who was over 120 combat and uh, he was mining rune ore too so I, it definitely has to be a decent money making method if so many different people are doing it i would occasionally also run into med level iron men accounts and uh, you know so forth so there was so many different accounts that i would run into and not a lot of people spoke i think maybe two out of the 50 or 60 that I saw throughout the last three days. So I guess it's just assuming uh, from that point on who's a real player and who isn't. But uh, yeah, I would say this is definitely one of the best spots compared to all the other ones that I saw on the list. One thing that I might do if this video does well, which I really don't know how this video is going to be doing because, you know, it's just a rock after all. But uh, I would like to explore the wilderness version of this uh, because there's, of course, rune rocks in the wild. It's about 46 wilderness, I believe. And of course, I have a pretty good PKing account and uh, three different accounts total, including my Iron Man that are all in different combat brackets uh, so that I feel like I can actually kill some of these bots uh, if they are found in the wilderness. And I could probably get away with mining on uh, my Iron Man account while doing so. So if you want to follow up, just let me know. I am um, definitely want to check it out. I just don't know if there's uh, that many bots deep in the wilderness compared to this location. Either way, though, I started this video at around 3.15 in the morning and uh, there was a decent amount of people at that time. I was also mining at around 12 p.m. noon the next day. Same story there. Sometimes I would be mining around evening, uh, like 8 to 9 p.m. EST. Those seem to be pretty good hours. And then, of course, really early in the following days, which was around 5 to 7 a.m., and those were decent hours as well. I really don't know how often these bots are logged in and how much they actually play a day, but uh, the same goes for normal players. I kept running into the same exact usernames, and like I mentioned before, no one really spoke or anything. But I would just assume that the... Uh, higher level accounts that I ran into were probably Ironman accounts and they just wanted to get directly uh, straight to obtaining rune ore rather than doing motherload mine and just getting a couple of them at a time. And this is definitely a decent method. Uh, as you guys know, for all of my mining videos, I'm always 99 with now I have the celestial ring. I have the full golden prospector. So a lot of great things to benefit me, although I do not have the Varrock armor and that does give you a nice little boost. I think you can get uh, an extra ore or something like that when you're mining 
rune. So that's the one thing I didn't have. But since I did have the Celestial Ring, I did get an invisible plus four boost uh, to my mining. I looked into the Celestial Ring just now, and it says that I can get a one in 10 chance to get a double ore up to adamant, but there are some exceptions. I guess the exceptions part would explain why sometimes, very rarely, but definitely sometimes, and I know I got it on video a few times as well, I would be mining a rune rock, and instead of just mining one ore and it would deplete, I could actually get up to two rune ore per rock. Uh, this only happened quite a few times, I'd say like, I don't know, less than 10, maybe a little bit more. Uh, so, I, you know, definitely rare occurrence, but I did see that happen for myself. Overall, in my very first hour here, I did mine 77 rune ore, because I was mainly uh, paying a lot more attention than I was on the other hours. I was doing spindle on my main account in the wilderness the whole time while I was recording this video. So anytime I was recording a clip on this account, I was in combat on my other one, and I was just praying that I didn't get a drop or anything so that I wouldn't miss out on any footage from my main, but luckily that did not happen, so we are good. Small little update for you guys, I do have a uh, loot from 1000 Spindle coming out either tomorrow night or Saturday night, but I'm really pushing for tomorrow night, and the Iron Man will be moving on to some different activities after this mining video, so stay tuned for that. And just now looking at the wiki again, uh, I do notice that all sorts of uh, mining equipment that I was wearing gives uh, different effects. I'll leave a screenshot on screen here that'll probably explain things a little bit better than I could uh, prior to uh, seeing this. And here we are with three hours remaining. I did start this video with 830 rune ore in the bank, so whatever we end up with, we're just going to put 830 back in the bank, and uh, whatever's left in the inventory will be the price check. Following the price check, I'll also be doing the beginner clue, as well as the easy and the medium clue that I did receive uh, while doing this video. I was kind of surprised that I didn't get a hard or an elite, but honestly, I I don't have a lot of steps able to be completed, so that's all right. And if you're wondering, yes, I did report most of the bots that I ran into just because they kept crashing me. You know, I'm not really uh, smiting all the botters out there. I understand, you know, it's just what happens in the game. You really can't do anything about it. But I did report most of them because, God, it's just so annoying. It's one thing to have to compete with Iron Men and uh, other people that are doing this for money, but the bots just make it much more difficult. So if you do try out this location and you're not a big fan of it, then I would just say try out different locations. There's plenty of them in the game, and you might find something that you like much more than this one that has a lot less bots around. And since we're on the topic of mining and mining bots, a little RuneScape history for you. There was a guy in the other RuneScape, now known as RuneScape 3, way, way back in the day. His username was Serial Heated, and he was known to be a free-to-player, but not just any free-to-player. This guy apparently mined coal and banked all of it up words until 200 mil mining XP. He was actually banned by Jagex before he reached 200 mil because everyone, including Jagex, thought he was a bot, and then he got unbanned and finished 200 mil by mining and banking coal and free-to-play. After that, the only thing that's known about him is that he did uh, around 50 million smithing XP, and then he dropped off the grid, and no one's heard from him since. But that is just a rumor. I don't know if that's 100% true. I was actually listening to a video of the guy who actually got first to max an old school runescape and he was kind of going over players who did some pretty crazy things on the other runescape so that's one username that definitely stuck out especially when I was recording this video so yeah let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below if you've heard of anything about that or if you think it's all just uh, nonsense you, you let me know but either way ladies and gentlemen loot from 10 hours of mining rune rocks has been completed looks like we ended up with 692 honestly as crowded as it was at some hours that definitely Definitely lowered my initial rate of 77 an hour, so I think this is actually a pretty uh, honest and respectable amount to receive in 10 hours and a good thing to go off of if you're considering doing this. Overall price check comes out to be 7.7 .7 million GP. That comes out to 770k GP an hour. Uh, keep in mind this is with a dragon pickaxe and 99 mining in the mining guild. Results may vary if you use a rune pickaxe, uh, if you're botting of course, because you're probably going to be a little bit slower than the average player and if you are a lower mining level so keep that in mind well it is clue scroll time now looks like the beginner clue gave me not a lot now we'll move on to the easy 
not uh, not the greatest. All right, now we'll move on to the medium. Well, there you go, spiked manacles. That looks incredible. Wow, okay, that's another 750k to the price check. So yeah, definitely do your clues if you are skilling. Well, that's gonna wrap up this one. Thank you guys so much for your time today. I appreciate you watching the video. A uh, huge thank you to our channel members with a special shout out to Swan Positive and Matthew Stivers. Thank you all for the generosity and the continued support. And I will see you soon with loot from 1,000 spindle. Take care, guys, and until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.